Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. When I first bought my house, it was all about pretty. I tried to find things and I tried to place things so they looked nice and attractive and totally function did not matter. <laughs> like it was bad, like scotch tape and duct tape for everything to hold it into place just so it looked pretty, but if you touched it, it would probably fall apart. Slowly but surely, a couple kids later, run a daycare, running out of space, have a tiny bit of a shopping problem, and I soon realized storage and function are way more important than pretty. So slowly but surely, I've been replacing useless furniture with functional furniture. And upstairs is totally a prime example of that. This is where we have circle time for the kids, we do crafts, we do coloring, we do educational school time, we do board games, all of that stuff, the educational type stuff is done upstairs. And I had stuff shoved everywhere. I have a craft armoire over here for the kids, bursting at the seams. I had baskets and bins under my coffee table, under my end tables. I had, you know, totes jam-packed. And I had a baker's rack, which was completely useless, but it filled the space and it was semi-pretty. So while in Ikea this weekend, on our way back from Toronto, I decided to replace that baker's rack, which was really pretty useless, just a display shelf, with one of these big old clunky Ikea bookshelves. Best part of this, my God, it holds a lot of crap. And for $80, you cannot go wrong. I love that these are so functional, especially because you can buy multiple ones and, you know, put them together and make a whole wall unit of them. They sell just the two, so you can stack right up to the ceiling. You can turn it on its side and make it a sofa table or put it at the end of a bed. Oh my gosh, the uses for this are endless. So I actually opted to get two of these little doors so my kids could easily access the crayons and they didn't have to pull out a basket for it and their coloring books because that's what we use every single day. And then inside these totes, this one's actually empty. Oh my God, I have empty space. And I have all of our wood blocks and wood puzzles. This is full of um, circle time stuff. So all of our puppets, flashcards and finger puppets. And this one's full of any educational board game. So. I have room to spare. Plus it has little cubbies for display and they sell little lights that can go on the top to glow down. Shoulda bought those. We'll buy them next time and of course on the top. So I'm totally geeked about it. I did totally cheap out and get the $7 banker boxes instead of the $30 baskets and they looked kind of office-esque. So I just took some scrapbooking paper and decoupaged them on the front. Didn't take me long at all cut out the little hole for the handle and they look a little bit prettier. I was going to actually also put family photos, decoupage family photos on the front and I super love this idea in a mudroom or a front entrance way. You can get bins and baskets and put a little family photo, decoupage it on the front or whatever and have it as little cubbies in an entrance way in your mudroom and if I ever get out of daycare, what an awesome way to add an extra pantry space where I can keep linens in there, I can keep dishes in there. The uses are endless. So it's totally functional. It's a little bit clunkier. Here's my old baker's rack that was there. This sucker's now going outside. Look at it. It's, it's okay, but it, it serves really no purpose. We don't even drink wine. <laughs> so I moved the wine bottles into our liquor cabinet, which is dusty. I don't even know why we have a liquor cabinet, but that's not the point. This sucker's going outside. I'm going to use it as like a potting bench, and I'm going to put flowers on it and my pots and my soil and my little shovels and everything so it's gonna be pretty outside but anyways yeah so next time you're at Ikea consider getting one of these super cool $80 functional bookshelves love them <laughs> that's your tip of the day we'll see you next time